number five. Ooh, I love it when I can show projects like this. This realistic jungle graphics demo built in Gato 4 was released earlier this week and it's a beauty. It shows off some high quality 3D assets used with global illumination, night and day system, dynamic lighting, the works. I'll just let it speak for itself. So if anyone says Gato can only do 2D and basic 3D, just show them this project. Actually, they can just download it and test it for themselves. It just goes to show that you can achieve really excellent quality 3D in Gato if you know what you're doing. This week is sponsored by Skillshare and they're offering a free one month trial of full access to their classes, including classes related to game development. Want to make game art? Check out the art courses. Want to make a 3D character? Go through a Blender modeling class, all 100% free. You can cancel the account whenever you want, so there's no reason not to get some free info from Skillshare. Or if you're the more teaching type, create your own class and earn money whenever someone joins and becomes your student. Skillshare features tons of classes in almost every creative skill you can think of, including marketing, filmmaking, or photography. The first 500 people to use my link will get access to one of Skillshare's best offers, 30 days free and 40% off your first year of Skillshare membership. Number four. In the Lair of Goblins, you're a hired hand tasked with recovering gold from a group of thieving goblins. Described as a casual action roguelite, your main objective is to retrieve the chest and return to the villagers. But you'll have a wave of goblins and the Goblin King to deal with. You'll start with a few weapons but can upgrade at the shop near the entrance to the lair. At the core, it's a classic hack and slash and as far as I can tell, created by one developer which is always a feat to be commended. You can check it out on Steam. Number three. Tebo has been showing off some high quality visual effects work on Twitter and it's been very impressive. One, it's great to see some visual effects showcasing because I feel there really isn't a lot of particle or effect demonstrations being done. And the thing is, the engine is more than capable as shown by these examples. You may recognize their work from GD Quest and there's always a clear style to the effects and animations. The most recent one in particular is pretty sweet and demonstrates a combination of visual effects. Hopefully there are some tutorials or example projects on the horizon. Number two. Gloom Grave is a roguelike dungeon crawler with a retro pixel aesthetic. Upgrade your Gloom Crawler with unique perks and experiment with different builds as you try to survive each depth in search of the ultimate ancient relic. I love the visual style here, borrowing from the early FPS games. It also features turn-based combat, which I absolutely love. The general roguelite setup applies. Select your class, level up, destroy enemies in randomized dungeons, find new gear, die, and repeat. The game boasts 50 items, 15 enemies, multiple classes and playstyles, seven levels you need to beat, and interesting skills and perks to customize your runs. The game has received excellent reviews on Steam and is definitely one I'd love to check out. And before we get to our number one spot, congrats to last week's winner, Disinfection, earning a place in our 2023 Gato Project of the Year tournament. And don't forget to vote for your favorite in the comments below. And number one. Our number one spot was sent in by a viewer of the channel and features a 3D dungeon crawler created in a little under a year. Withered the Lost Dungeon is a retro first person fantasy game about escaping a dungeon with only your wits and whatever tools you can find in the moment. It features multiple skeletal enemy types, one big boss, over a dozen unique enemies and items to try out, and a dual wielding system in which any two items can be used at a time, creating unique synergies and trade-offs as you decide what to keep and what to leave behind. You can check it out and support the developer on their itch.io page. 